All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching those ads. We're hopping to game number three. It's a best of five semifinals match here in the Alima League. And the winner of this will go on to fight against Solar in the best of seven grand finals for the November monthly finals. Again, you guys are getting spoiled this month. You got not one, but two monthly finals because the November one was pushed off from last, uh, last month. So don't worry. You still have the December one ahead of you after <laughs> sometime uh, later on this month. But... Let's hop into these intros. Spawning here in the top right corner of the map. He's down two at the moment. We'll see if he can turn this around. It's going to be Dead Pixels, Blue Zerg Player True. The bottom left as the Red Terran, Gumiho. All right, so Gumiho did some pretty cool stuff that game. Uh, to, to recap real quick, because you're just joining us, like game number one, Gumiho had a pretty one-sided victory with some faster Hellions. Uh, game number two that we just saw in Echelon Waste, it was mech through and through, and we got to see some really cool Thor drops towards the end of the game. Um, if you're Terran fans out there, you were definitely giddy about it, but this is interesting, going for the 11-11 on map three. I like it. I'm not sure I like where it is. The Do you remember like the, the actual strategy used to be built around the watchtowers, because you could use the little yeah. uh, area behind it? Mm-hmm. Call some people putting it at the uh, I guess you, what is that the fifth? It's the one below the natural. <laughs> uh, but this this could have been scouted to true just like a little bit to the left, buddy, a little bit. But yeah. it is not. So. But true is going for a pool first. So uh, this I mean I, I'd be hmm, I'd find it really lucky or really skilled. I don't know if Gumio did actual damage with this. I mean this is gas too. Hmm. As long as Gumi does get like three bunkers up without true noticing, I think he's okay. I think, well, hmm. this is just so funny because, like, it's true. You gotta come into this, you play against Gumi. There's the mindset of, like, alright, it's mech again. Like, I don't know, it's Cloud Kingdom, how's this gonna go? But nope, 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 nope. It's, uh, deadly amounts of bio in the early game. Hmm. Well, true still doesn't know it's really here. Did he? I think he saw the SCV come in. But that kind of looks like a normal SCV scout. I don't know. Uh, I thought he was gonna go and scout the the main, you know, at least the ramp. Oh. Okay. Was... This is one of those maps you could fully wall off with bunkers yes, too. Yes, it I is. Forgot about that. Yeah. It's kind of why I brought up like the three bunker thing. Like as yeah. long as he doesn't get three bunkers up without True noticing. But True, didn't he not? Did he not notice that that was the second SCV? I oh, think he's getting he's... a Roach War, and he has noticed. Okay, so. We've actually seen Roaches with Burrow be one of the more creative ways to deal with this, and I actually applaud the move because the counterattack potential is much greater than that. I feel than if you've got Lings a lot of the time, but this oh, base is okay. canceled pretty much immediately, and uh, Gumio, it's, it's kind of like mission accomplished, you know, <laughs> job yeah. well done. I think that if since True didn't get out there with like drones or Lings to stop the three bunker rush, I think he just kind of expected Gumio to do the wall off and was like, well, I gotta like you know, I'm not gonna try and hold it now. That just means Gumiho is going to go for it. He's going to contain here. True, though, going for Burrowed Roaches. Really yeah. cool to see. Uh, I know you like this. Uh, so far, every single time you get giddy about it, though, and think that's an awesome build, I see it not work. Yeah. So, it's, so waiting on that one. It's been unfortunate because I do know that's been the case with you. But I was sold on this, like, the first time. Um, and maybe not in this scenario. You and I, we got the pleasure of seeing, like, uh, Starbuck versus Ryong, and that was a really weird one back in the day for, was that, Merry-Go-Round, if you remember? Yes. So, I mean, there's definitely cool potential what you can do with the roaches with Burrow, but yeah. Uh, as far as breaking out of this, you can't just walk past the bunkers. It's eight marines that are firing at you. You don't have the health to sustain that. So, the idea is you kind of play whack-a-mole. You burrow the low roach, attack, unburrow, attack. It's a lot of control, and it can easily mess up, but this is a really powerful way to break these bunkers. It's eight. Eight marines. A lot of damage. Ooh. There you go. Nice sniper. Good control so far. Really good. Yeah. And for those who don't know, of course, well, Burrowed Roaches get a lot of regeneration, so give it a second, he'll unburrow with full health Roaches, round two starts up, then goes across the map. And for Gumio's sake, like, I think he knows that this is a very real, very scary threat that's going to be coming. I kind of wish he would just... What players with yeah. the focus, by the way? Like, Jesus. Okay, there he goes. He's running away. He's going to try and get back home. He did bring the barracks back home a while ago. Got two more barracks. So, obviously, bio this game. What I'm a little surprised about is that Cloud Kingdom was one of the best maps for having the barracks wall off. It takes three barracks to wall this uh, off. Ah, yeah, for the Bailings. Uh, it is. 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, he knows it's not Banelings because it was Roaches here. I guess it could be Banelings, but off of one base, that would be a lot of gas. Uh, but of course, the spawning positions kind of screwed me over here. If he did go for that three by uh, barracks wall off, wall off, the tech labs would be on the other side. Obviously, bad against Roaches. Wouldn't have been good, but he has two bunkers. Um, and the uh, thing is, like, is he going to get a missile turret? Is he going to get an engineering bay? Or is he going to try and depend on scans? I guess uh, this is kind of scary, though, because the way you do play this with Burrow, you wait till the roaches get incredibly deadly low to Burrow them. So, yeah, if a scan goes down, he's going to lose probably like three roaches right away. Yeah. That's true. I guess that's, that's fear enough for True not to try and just straight up you know, break this. And not to mention, there's like, oh, there's a, a, a lot of Marines. Uh, you know, I don't know if they didn't have the bunkers, they'd still went out, but breaking the bunkers and then taking on the Marines, yeah, it's probably too much for those, that amount of roaches. So just while we get a bit of downtime here, going over the bets for this series, we had 6,505 Fartoofs placed on Gumiho, uh, 3,081 on True, and then for whatever reason, 1,000 on Pancakes. Uh, <laughs> you oh, guys. Pancakes. You guys should have been wrong. Yeah, we had so many pancakes and waffles at BlizzCon. It was such a good time. So many, as in I had one waffle. But then I got to eat the rest of it, because you didn't want it. Yeah, that's right. So it's a good time for Rifkin. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was like, we got to take these pictures, and you rolled your eyes so hard. Like, <laughs> I did. That I did. I really don't understand why that became a meme for us over time, but whatever. I, I think no. one of these days, what you always know should do. We got one emoticon slot left on the channel. We should have like a donation drive or something. Be like, you know, by December 25th, like, you can donate towards pancakes or waffles and we'll make that last emoticon slot one of those, one of those two things. This has all been adding up to, uh, to this moment, hasn't it? I think it'd be fun. All right, anyways, uh, just looking to push out here for Goom Hill. Got a little bit risky. Sim's not done. Trying it's to take this. out these roaches. It's not something he's going to want to do. Yeah, and look what True is making. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> I don't know why he didn't just try and surround that army. I think if he surrounds it with the Lings and the Roaches were there, he could kill it all. Kill it all. Uh, I guess the Lings weren't quite, quite ready, though, and the Roaches are very slow without their speed, but nope, nope. Okay, yeah. reinforcements save that line. But, 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 but. He doesn't well, have a wall. He doesn't have bunkers. He just has a really big army. I feel like, though, we've seen Gumiho. Uh, uh, this is bio. Like, let's stress that for a moment, guys. Like, it's bio. Um, but I feel like what's out there. I think his focus far should be okay. I mean, this could be coming up a choke. He's got Sim. He can run back. There's no creep. It's not going to be an easy hold. But he doesn't I feel have like... Sim. Oh, is Sim not done? Oh, it's not done. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so this is this is actually a really rough hold. But he spreads so well, it doesn't even matter. Takes out the bailings with that threat gone. Dealing with the roaches, perhaps less less oh. scary. I mean, the production should be able to cover this. I think. I think the production can. Uh, the biggest threat is really not the roaches so much, although they are still alive. It is the amount of Yeah, um, there's yeah, no wealth in the, the natural, fire. or the main, so I, uh, this might actually be it. Oh, yeah. that detonation does go off. You're right, this might just end up being uh, the case. True, looking to bring this series back. Uh, a big roach banding all in, certainly one way to do it. A good way to respond to a, that bunker, or uh, sorry, the barracks, rather. It was the least, like, hype Roach Bailing, because usually, like, oh my god, it's 15 Bailings with a crash in the supply depot, but it was like 15 Bailings slowly marching toward a concave. It was like, that's happening now. Oh, Sim's finished, so maybe maybe wonders can be made here. I don't know, this is a big choke here at the top of the ramp. Everything's starting to dissipate. That Bailing connection at the end got a really sick hit. Good game's gonna be called True. We'll take his first win in the series and start bringing this back. Of course, he's still down to 